Hello everyone, it's Monkozonki, and today I'm going to have kind of a first look in my opinions on the Nexus. Um, you can get to this place just south of Lumbridge Swamp. You can see the wall of Lumbridge right there. I guess I should kind of show the general area. It's in the Lumbridge Swamp. It's where you go to the little hut and um, go to the ferry place is right next to here. The entrance to Xanaris is that hut right off in the distance. Um, and you just talk to this lady right here, and she will give you a charmed sack, and you can use this sack to collect corruption from the Nexus. And I must say, um, this is only worth doing if you're a really low uh, prayer level, because you're not going to get a whole lot of XP for it, and also the uh, the XP is kind of... Um, it is set so you can only get a certain amount. I believe the amount that you can get total prayer XP wise is 37k. Uh, it is completely free though. So, however, if you're a low level, um, you can, in fact, get to like level 40 prayer straight off just by doing this. So, I'm going to, I'm going to set up a little XP counter here and see how much prayer XP I do for the entire thing. And at the end, um, I will be able to show you exactly how much prayer XP I got. And so that should be pretty interesting. I've been hearing that the total amount of prayer XP that you can get is 37, 420 or something like that. It's basically the exact amount of XP that you need for level 40. But I am already level 31 prayer from doing some quests and stuff before I even came here. Um, so we'll see what level this gets to me too. I also have a uh, daily challenge, which is also prayer. It's like very big bones or something like that. So I should be able to get a few prayer levels today from this. Um, so far, it's not looking very fast. If these are all going to be um, 17 XP drops, but I guess it is free, so uh, there isn't a whole lot that you can pl complain about. But um, anyway, I will try to figure this out the best that I can, um, and maybe talk to this lady here and see the best method of um, getting XP so I don't have to be here for 10 years. Uh, yeah, and I'll get back to you guys and show you the best method of doing this. So it turns out um, you really need to have more than one person to do this correctly. Um, I'll explain a little bit on how it works. Uh, I'm just hopping on World 2 because this is the only world that I can find where there is actually people doing this, which makes sense because World 2 is usually the most populated world and all. So there's uh, four little bowls on each of these pillars. Um, there's one that's Order, one that's um, Battle, one that's Chaos, and one that's Fealty. And what you need to do is there's four streams here, and uh, on each of the little bowls, you have to um, do the r on each of the pillars, you have to do the right bowl. For example, I'm using the eastern pillar, and at the moment, we're doing the fealty bowl, pouring it into there. And apparently, if you do this, um, once every couple minutes, the uh, corruption guy from the Nexus will actually pop up. Uh, I have not seen this yet, but as soon as it happens, I will record it and uh, see what happens from that. But anyway, you want to make sure um, if you have a couple people to do this with or you find a world where there's a couple people at the Nexus, um, you want to coordinate it um, so that there's four different pillars and you're all pouring into a different bowl from the same pillar because that's how it's supposed to work. Um, so anyway, this is very, very slow XP, so it's really only worth doing if you're a low prayer level um, or just desperately need prayer XP and can't afford it for whatever reason. But um, it's really not worth doing it all at high levels just because it is very slow. You get 18 XP drops, and it's going to take quite a while uh, probably to get the full 37k XP. But I will stick at it for a little while, and I'll try to have this Nexus guy pop up out of the ground so I can show off what he looks like, um, as long as it's not too laggy because, as I said, I am playing on World 2, and there's a lot of people here um, and a couple familiars, which makes it extremely laggy. So something's happening here, so I figured I might as well record it. Um, let's see. Never mind, false alarm. So um, when you saw the streams, like they all turned purple and then they all turned white, and then there's like kind of a flashing light from the middle. Um, apparently, the monster, which is called the grotesque, popped up, but I didn't see it either because it just happened really fast, or because I wasn't in the middle. Um, not quite sure what that was all about, but unfortunately, I didn't see it. Um, anyway, if you just have all the streams doing the right thing for a little while, it eventually uh, does cause the monster to pop up. Okay, here's the monster. It's called the Grotesque. 
Um, it just was up there for a very short amount, and uh, yeah, I guess you banish it. And I got these grotesque bones from doing it. It just said um, you got some bones from banishing the grotesque in my chat box. So if I bury those, it gives 1.1k prayer XP. So that's not bad. Um, so every time that little monster called the grotesque pops up, you want to make sure you click on him to banish him, and you should get some bones, which give you a bit of XP. So that's about all for this update. Um, it's not the greatest. I, I would say it's probably pretty decent for new players since you can get some prayer levels without having to do quests and without having to spend any money. This is completely free. It can get you from level 1 to 40 prayer if you do this all on an entirely new account, which is pretty nice, not something to sniff at. Um, so I will have a small little clip at the very end of this video just showing um, once I'm done with the Nexus and how much XP I got in total because I don't know if like when that monster pops up and you get bones from him I'm not sure whether that counts towards your total XP that you can get or not. So yeah anyway I will be back in a little bit show you how much XP I got and uh, that will be all for this video. So I'm going to stop doing this now um, anyway, the reason why is this this uh, method of training XP, it's good for really low levels if you don't have any money and you really want to train prayer, um, but it is extremely boring and slow. Um, I've, heard, I've been hearing from the players around here that this is about 20k XP an hour. Um, I've gotten 8.5k XP, and also when that monster pops up, if you click on him, you can get some bones, which give between 1 and 2k XP for burying, depending on your level. So I just got some bones there, I'm going to bury these, and I'm going to be done here because um, I have a couple things to do in real life, just got 36 prayer. Um, I might come back to this place and do it again later at some later date, but anyway, this is how you do it. Um, I would advise if you want to do the Nexus, uh, just to go on World 2, and you have to do it soon because this won't be around forever, pretty soon. A lot of these players that are working on the Nexus right now will either get bored and leave or finish with all their prayer and leave. But you can get um, 37,400 XP total. If you do this in, um, at the rate it's going, it will probably take you around two hours to complete. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helped if you are interested in the Nexus at all. And farewell.